this fight is three five minute rounds in the strawweight division. Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of five wins and three losses. She stands 157 centimeters tall and weighs already 52 kilograms. Representing Fight Club Frenzy and fighting out of Florence, Italy. Put your hands together for Samin Demon Kamal B. And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman's a mixed martial artist with a perfect professional record of five wins and no losses. She stands 165 centimeters tall and weighs already 52.4 kilograms. Representing Red Dragon Jim and fighting out of Poznan, Poland. Please welcome Evelina Mad Queen. Your referee is Tomas Brunder. Incredible athletes. And here we go. Nice stiff jab to open up by Evelina, but gets caught over the top. Beautiful shot from Samin. That's a real hallmark of Samin's fighting style that she's happy to get involved in these types of brawls. Happy to brawl, happy to get technical with her wrestling too. Happy to try out her submissions. Right now, Evelina looking to drag her opponent down to the ground. That failing, landed a good knee into the midsection. Switching to a single, and she was successful. Nice work by Evelina, but needs to be wary of the submission attempt here. Samin Kamal Bike is, of course, a national jiu-jitsu champion in her native Italy. Doing a beautiful job. Ladies and gentlemen, Brave Nation, when you're on bottom like this, you need to either be far away from your opponent or have your opponent be really close. If you're in that mid-range, you can get hit. What you're seeing here is a textbook definition of how to keep your opponent close enough so they don't have the leverage to hit you very hard. Beautiful work from Samin to keep the feet on the hips. That means she's trying to transition those hips to set up the likes of an armbar. Currently in the close guard, we'll have to open that, get the feet back on the hips if she wants to be offensive. Pulling down the head of her opponent, not letting them posture. She may be trying to isolate an arm here for an arm bar. We do see the hips switch and the legs come over the top. Little pot shots being landed here by Samin off her back. That's awesome work from Samin on the bottom, constantly regarding. Very nice regard. We'd like to see just a little more pressure on top from Bosniak. There's a little bit of distance between the hips right, of these two women that allows Beak to have her way to a certain extent. Would it be fair to say that this is the toughest test of Evelina's career so far? It is. I have watched as much tape as is available, and this is absolutely the toughest test to date. Watch out for potential. Looked like she was going to switch for the only plata, abandons it again, but what she's doing so beautifully is she's keeping that overhook and the head down nice and tight, preventing Evelina from prostering. And just as I say that, Evelina postures and lands a crushing elbow. And this is where Beek does not want to be. She was doing a phenomenal job. She's going back. She's got a double head tie now. She's keeping her opponent close. This is clearly the game she likes. The other thing she could do is move her head back, go to a knee shield, keep feet in the hips, and try and protect herself at distance. Cutting through into the half guard is Evelina. If she has the dexterity, she can establish the likes of a crucifix from here. What we see here, Brave Nation and MMA, is really not a half guard. When you're on your back, when you don't have the underhook, whoop, and she popped right out of it. Really Again, big work, props yeah. to Beak. This is the power of jiu-jitsu we're watching. However, she has spent essentially two minutes, 30 seconds of the first round on her back. How is that interpreted by the judges? Right now, because she's taking impact, it's interpreted as losing. But remember, she just needs a split second to throw those legs up there and secure a limb. High risk, high reward work there from Evelina transitioning into the half guard. Now trying to set up that crucifix. Samin trying to roll out when really she should be trying to roll in and try and hook a leg there, try and re-establish that half guard and then work from there. But Samin is as tough as they come. That toughness is matched absolutely by her skills. We're seeing just terrific jiu-jitsu here. I think she's going to regard and it happened right there. Samin does, of course, have two wins via submission. One 
via armbar, one via rear naked choke, and off her back, the greater likelihood is that she'll throw up an armbar or a triangle. A BJJ purple belt in her own right, and again in her own right, number five pound for pound fighter in all of Italy. Again, there's a little bit of distance between the hips of these two women. It's giving Beek the, the movement she needs of those hips. In order to submit somebody, characteristically, you've got to move those hips out to one side or the other. She's been, you can see it right there, she's been able to do it. She is starting to eat some big shots, though. She's going to have to try and time one of those punches and throw the hips up and make something happen. Trying to get that armbar, but again, it's classically regards just as quick as you like. Is there a danger for Samine to be too comfortable in this position? Because she's not taking crazy amounts of damage, she's trying to work. Oh, just as I say that, another big elbow. May look to go for a bump sweep here. Doesn't quite have the purchase for the guillotine choke. Again, Evelina so far unable to really mount any kind of offense with regards to passing the guard has been able to land some shots and some big elbows, but the point I was going to make, Carrick, and the question I wanted to ask you is, is Samin potentially in danger of getting too comfortable being on her back because she's so confident in her jiu-jitsu? I don't believe, Phil, that she has any choice in the matter. She has not showed the ability to sweep the Mad Queen, has not shown the ability to take her down. So what we're seeing is the inevitable when you're in that situation. That said, she is handling herself very adroitly given what she has to work with, which is the inability to end up on top. A little bit of marking underneath the eye of Samin there. Interestingly, Samin so confident in her conditioning that she stayed standing. Shades of George Foreman when he was still fighting as an old man. There you see some shots being landed by Evelina from inside the guard. That was probably the most telling shot of the round, but credit to Samin, she's trying to throw up submission. She's moving from the close guard to putting the feet on the head. There was a short triangle attempt, but just passed to the side by Evelina. If you're Samin, you cannot spend the majority of the second round on your back, regardless of how many submissions you're trying to hope for. Phil, not only does she not want to, from the, the point of, from the perspective of, of not winning, losing this round to the judges, she doesn't want to, because she did take a couple of hard shots in there. I think she's going to show a little bit more circular footwork. If she does get in on that takedown, or potentially in for a takedown, I think she's going to give that everything she's got. Nice shot from Evelina. And if you've ever seen Evelina hit pods, she's very, very clean with her striking. Evelina's very clean with her striking when she hits people. A little bit of a slip there just from Samin. Oh, it's a bang! Oh, 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 he stopped it! What a knee from Evelina. The Mad Queen has just announced herself. As I said at the beginning of the broadcast, we are watching the coronation of a queen in the strawweight division. There is absolutely no strike more devastating in mixed martial arts or anywhere else than that knee to the liver. And ladies and gentlemen of the Brave Nation, if you have never been hit with a shot to the liver, it is indescribably debilitating. It just zaps all the energy out of your body, rendering you unable to intelligently defend yourself. And, uh, but right now, what placement from Evelina Bosniak, a genuinely scintillating performance, and there is so much more to come from this lady. Ladies and gentlemen of Brave Nation, when that liver shot lands, you're standing. You feel like you're going to die if you stand. You don't want to straighten up because you feel like you're going to die and you don't want to fall on the ground because you feel like you're going to die. It is the most devastating strike in mixed martial arts or any combat sport. Now, 6-0, Evelina Vosniak now has two wins via K or TKO, two by submission, two by decision, remains undefeated, remains largely untested. I am very excited to see what happens next for this young lady in Brave Combat Federation. The Mad Queen shows mad power in the Brave Combat Federation cage. Phil, there may be a broken or popped rib Maybe, here. Yeah. 
This Fighter is... safety comes first, last, always in Brave Combat Federation. We have three doctors oh. on staff. We have two ambulances standing by. Nothing is going to happen that cannot be handled medically. Uh, but maybe. there is a chance here of a broken or popped rib. We've got the staff here ready to take Beak out. It turns out she is able to stand under her own power and will very shortly be coming to center stage for the official announcement. I look like it was right to the flowing rib, Carrick, that pop in me, using the momentum of her opponent coming in so intelligently. And like I say. Bill yeah. Demon Beak, by the way, just raised her opponent's wrist. This is the kind of sportsmanship that defines this organization. Referee takes him center stage. Carlos Kramer, make it official. All right, Brave Nation, another incredible bout inside the Brave CF Galana exclusive championship cage. This bout comes to an end at 30 seconds of the second round. Your winner by TKO due to strikes, Evelina Mad Queen.